I'd been up all night working on my latest case. I was about to call it quits. Outside, it was the kind of night that could hide a thousand crimes. Dark, hot, and steamy. Then a cool breeze blew in. It brought with it the hint of jasmine. I looked up, and she was standing there. I figured she must have been somebody important when I heard that applause. <laughs> she had flashing eyes, flowing hair, and a body. That was 100% body. But the one thing I'll never forget is the way she held that cage. I'm being followed by Mr. Big, and he's after this. I couldn't help thinking, why would anyone want that silly bird? <laughs> you gumshoe. This is a Maltese canary! It's been in my family for years. Your family? Yeah, every Tuesday night at 10 o'clock. It was the first time I'd ever been plugged by a dame. That's him. Please, help me hide him. Okay. We'll have to put it in here. Excuse me, excuse me. You David Copperfield, private magician? Who wants to know? No time to explain Mr. Biggs after me. You too? This is what he's after. The Maltese egg. <laughs> Quick. Hide it in here. Quickly. Come in. Mr. Copperfield, you've got to help me. Don't tell me. Mr. Biggs after you too. How did you know? There's a lot of that going around. <laughs> Actually, he's after this. The, the Maltese, Maltese lemon? lemon? <laughs> Quick. Let's put it under here. That must be Mr. Big. He never learned to knock. <laughs> you all know why I'm here. Hand them over. Hand what over? We haven't got anything. Then why has everyone got their handkerchiefs out? Oh, this is a very sad case. <laughs> we have nothing here. Unless, of course, you'd care for the Maltese orange. Very funny. Hm. I don't suppose you validate parking. No. It figures. Excellent, Mr. Bake. Where's my canary? Where's my, my lemon? Egg? I'll tell you, right after I've had my breakfast. Breakfast? Yeah. I'll start with this orange. 